So guys, today I got it for you, hopefully I found the video to watch, although it was very stressful for me to film it, because it is based on the idea of sharing with you a list of perfumes I tried purchase after losing my entire perfume collection, which hopefully will never happen, but I got inspired by the video Anna here on YouTube filmed, so I will have a link to hers and details on the mentioned fragrances today down below in the description box, make sure to check it out and keep on watching to find out more, don't forget to like and subscribe, and once you're done with that, we can get started. So hello and welcome everyone to today's list of fragrances that got lucky and I picked them from my collection if I lost all of what I have and have been collecting over these last, I don't know, six, seven years. I do own probably more than 500 perfumes. I know it's crazy. Ooh, 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 and please, sorry, do I sound like a, a monkey? Probably I did. But anyway, please drop a comment and tell me if you would like to see an updated perfume collection video because I'm not quite sure when I felt when like it has been years since I filmed the last one probably when I moved into this house so maybe that's gonna be something interesting especially for the new subscribers on my channel but it would be like my absolute nightmare if I lost my perfume collection and so I decided to share with you 13 perfumes from it I'd repurchase as soon as I could and uh, they kind of cover all the moods I might have, although it's impossible, but you know what, sometimes I'm going through phases when I'm enjoying just a certain style of perfume, sometimes I'm into a particular note or whatever, so I tried to do my best, maybe I felt, maybe I not, I hope you will like this video, so uh, let's get started with the first perfume and this is an OG favorite, Gypsy Water by Burrito. So this one covers lots of different categories for me. First of all, it is very wearable and it is essential when you don't have like a huge perfume collection to have something that you're comfortable with. And this is a cozy fragrance that is very aromatic, it has some spicy and citrusy notes like pepper, lemon and juniper, there are some pine needles with incense, so it is fresh but with this beautiful powdery polished woodiness to it. Vanilla in here is absolutely not sweet, it just adds something extremely comforting and enjoyable to this perfume that is a compliment magnet you can wear day and night, summer and winter, so yeah, it's just like my go-to fragrance that have been in my collection for many years and I really like it for the everyday basis when I'm not playing anything special and at the same time I want to smell really good whether for myself or others. However, if I were into like this sexy glamorous mood, I would reach out for something maybe a little bit... <laughs> yep. It wouldn't be like if I lost my entire perfume collection, it would be like if I broke my entire perfume collection. Okay, so I just want to show you the quality of these bottles. Spoiler alert, they are... <laughs> okay, that'd be so such an ironical thing if I actually broke them now and need to repurchase because of that, but okay, now I really need to <laughs> lay down. Okay, so I need to pull myself together. If I were into like a glamorous mood, I'd be wearing something powdery with a little bit of an edge and at the same time this timeless feeling and I really like iris and violet notes because they are powdery and luxurious, they add something extremely extremely just timeless and very expensive to the composition and I do have a lot of iris based violet heavy fragrances in my collection could go through some of my previous videos I will share them on the screen now but this bad boy popo de atom by Maison Violet is like a classic because it is inspired by you know this idea of um, violets and iris mixed with peach and plum there is some oak moss in there so it doesn't have like too dated kind of a character but at the same time there is something so special and so well known about it that just wearing it makes me want to put on a beautiful lipstick and do my hair makeup dress really really glamorously and go out so yeah i do love this perfume very much it lasts for a long time absolutely unisex and 
people really react positively to this perfume because there is something feminine and at the same time cool and chic about it and just in case you are into powdery perfumes scents of boudoir and you know violet and iris in particular i would highly recommend you to get it with my discount of course so it's going to be linked down below but on that note, let's talk about a freshy, a green perfume. This is definitely not my favorite style of fragrance, so I need to get creative with it. And here we have a matcha meditation by Mason Margiela. This is honestly what I'm wearing if I'm into a tea fragrance, if I want something green and crisp. I just absolutely love that they created such a realistic matcha accord in this composition. If you're familiar with the taste of matcha, it is very particular, it is not for everyone, you really need to get used to it, but once you do, oh my god, it's so particular and special, especially mixed with some orange blossom, jasmine, even white chocolate. It has more of like a floral and even like dusty dry down which i appreciate after the green opening so it's a freshy i like to wear rather in the hotter weather because it is kind of refreshing and really lovely honestly effortless not too long lasting but for me such an underrated gem in margella's collection so yeah i definitely repurchase it just as the next perfume also with a note of tea but it's not as noticeable in Grishane as it is in matcha meditation because this is rather about this gorgeous cardamom with fig iris vetiver but mostly sandalwood and there's also some tonka in there so everything is round everything smells and screams luxury it is quite a quiet perfume surprisingly for all the hype that it gets and it is well deserved you know this is the perfume i would wear for a special occasion especially if i'm going to a place where i want to make a very very bold and at the same time nice impression maybe more formal setting or you know just for myself this perfume gives me like this burst of confidence which is important wearing your fragrance to feel confident and comfortable with it so grishane i absolutely love it it is probably one of my signature scents and i feel like there is nothing quite like it so it smells expensive mature and at the same time truly niche and i love perfumes with such an attitude and such a character but if i wanted like a beautiful floral fragrance you know i have so many in my collection because this is probably my most favorite genre in perfumery but i decided to go for elaine elaine noisy bee by paris monte carlo because of course it's big on elaine elaine and this is just such a a oh, positive scent that is luscious, that is a little bit tropical, but it is contrasted by a whole bunch of different notes like cardamom and grapefruit. We have some other flowers and woods in here, but honestly, it reminds me of the old formulation of Linstown by Guerlain and wearing this perfume, actually when I discovered it, it was like finding the scent of my dream. I feel so irresistible wearing it. It's just something that triggers me, like takes me back to my childhood. And at the same time, it's just a voluptuous scent. Ylang Ylang is almost like this aphrodisiac that attracts people and it is sunny, it is positive, as I've said. So I do really love that. And it has a very special spot in my heart. So I decided to include it into today's list but okay now we need to talk about my gourmands especially vanilla because you know i'm obsessed with it and i do have a couple of vanillas today believe it or not like i left out some of my other favorite perfumes for these vanillas like you can't beat vanille fatale by the way there is a new formulation i haven't smelled yet so let me know if you would like me to compare the new and my og favorite vanille fatale i've been dreaming about so many i don't know months years once i got it like i was the happiest person it was like a big moment of me enriching my perfume collection with this stunning one-of-a-kind vanilla that is so complex you have no idea and at the same time it's easy it's just like the person or the perfume you click right away and there is no turning back i love the coffee with suede i love a whole bunch of base notes like patchouli mahogany wood tobacco and top notes of citruses and spices saffron orange some flowers we got this amazing mix still of vanilla based perfume 
that is a bit darker and that stands out. So I'm into vanilla and I'm into unique fragrances. So this is like a win-win fragrance for me that is expensive, that is getting even more expensive. And I hope that the new formulation is just as stunning as this one. But the next fragrance is another vanilla centered perfume that is right here from Dior's collection, Vanilla Diorama, that I fell in love with at first sniff, but I wouldn't purchase that because it's just super expensive and if I needed to rebuild my perfume collection, I'd rather focus on something else and get a dupe by One Perfums because it is just as gorgeous, but for me even better because I have almost like a cosmetic nuance in here and it's boozy, it is very gourmand, it's for the cravings of something edible, sweet, it's just like a gorgeous, yummy and at the same time expensive type of vanilla with additional note of room and cacao, cardamom, patchouli and this pop of orange. So it is quite inexpensive with the cosmetic element. It will satisfy me on so many levels and I know that it is a huge compliment there that you by the way can also get with my discount. So make sure to check it out. I think this is a staple in everyone's perfume collection but in mind that would be all also Lira, it's another vanilla based perfume and I'm so sorry I have to mention so many of these but I try to keep this list as realistic as if I you know were to repurchase these fragrances but I mean like uh, I, I, I just feel like we are connected with Lyra, it goes way back in time. I just remember the first time trying out this fragrance and it is extremely wearable especially for the summertime, I'm really into those sugary, sweet, um, realistic, bold vanillas when it's hot. And this is what I would wear in that period because the blood orange really lifts the composition. At first, you got the lavender and blood orange. There's even some spice in there coming from cinnamon, which is not too wintry. I don't like all of that festive, too much of a cinnamon situation. And in here, it just gives the fragrance a punch of something delicious and twisted, especially as it dries down into caramelized, sugary, dense vanilla. Love and would wear it in the summertime, but for the days when I'm a bit down, I really like to pamper myself and just, you know, enchant the mood with gourmands. And another fragrance from Xerjov, and I'm so sorry, it's Italica by Cassimarati. Or from Cosmetic Collection, this, when I smell this, I get high. And for that, I mean, like, I've been dreaming about it for a long time. Now I have it, and I can't imagine my collection without this stunning fragrance that is creamy, milky. There is some touch of saffron that makes it so special, and there is nothing else that would smell quite like it. So it can be even like a very soothing fragrance to wear for myself in the evening when I'm going to bed, but it is equally as gorgeous as, you know, going out perfume or when I have some guests coming over and I want to smell pleasant and attractive Italica. I absolutely love it. I needed to include it on today's list, but we are moving on into the florals. I mean, like mainly rose. Okay, so I love my Montals and this is my favorite Montal. So Crazy in Love would be the first perfume I would get from this brand, mainly for the fact that it smells like all of the best sellers, for instance, um, Intense Cafe um, and um, Sensual Instinct, maybe some other woody fragrances mixed into one. And this is like more orientalish bolder, almost like provoking and sexy rose perfume. And I love it. I love that it's strong. The siyash is there. When I move around, I can smell it. And uh, it is a great performer, so I don't need to reapply throughout the day and worry that it disappears. So that would be a gorgeous going out perfume. But if I wanted like just a burst of youthful energy and I'm not into the mood in like for something that is too heavy, I would go for a floral perfume like Levan from Orman Jane. And it is similar in the scent profile to, you know, Delina and Flor Narcotique, those rather musky, citrus seem fresh floral fragrances peony in here is mixed with the love the valley some juicy tangelo bright mandarin and clean musk 
I mean, like, you can't go wrong with a fragrance like this, and I appreciate lighter perfumes on the everyday basis, and at the same time, I know that it has nice projection. That is not, like, um, the most intense fragrance, but it will stay with you, and I really appreciate that. But now, let's move into the darker category of, of perfumes and talk about ambers. So I have quite a few in my collection. I decided to go with a newer in my collection, which is by EPC, the Ambre Epicis, because, uh, you guys, where should I start? So this is a beautiful modern amber. It is vanillic, it is mysterious, and it puts me into this darker mood that I really like, especially because there is some iris and tears you've probably already recognized as my favorite note. So I really like how easy and how pleasant and how wearable and also how dark this fragrance is. It is um, ambery and glowy, so it's great for the winter time when I'm going out at night and I want something on myself as a protective layer on the outerwear, gorgeous. What I really love and appreciate and find special about Ambre Epices is that Unlike many other ambery perfumes that can smell old-fashioned, well, at least to me, this doesn't smell old. It smells new. It smells exciting. And, you know, to smell it, maybe because now it's cold, it's, it, it just transports me to a whole other exotic place. So I really appreciate that about it. And also, if you are into modern perfumes, you can experience this brand, explore a range, and use my discount just in case you want to smell like, you know, a glowy, beautiful, vanillic, patchouli amber yourself. <sighs> okay, we're almost done. One perfume left or two, I'm not sure, but just mean exclusive by Mancera. Okay, this is my Oud choice and this is my floral and um, like white floral, sexy, teasing type of a fragrance. And it is any moment. So, like, it ticks so many boxes for me. This stuff is perfect for me. I, I like love. I love you. Animalic, white floral, dirty, sexy, almost burnt um, plum wood, Pff, stunning. Like for me, it's perfect. Uh, it is probably too challenging for most people, but for me to have like a bold white floral that is dirty animalic is a must, just as a nice, clean, simple type of a fragrance, because that is something that you need to have. And mine is nothing but the sea and sky from Unu Nomad. And where should I start with this light and crisp, elegant scent of sheer sandalwood and this modern white mask, fresh splash of bergamot? That's kind of it, but it works just like as a minimalistic scent that you can wear on the everyday basis and at the same time smell clean for people around you. Everyone can appreciate a fragrance in this style because it is something so simple and at the same time effective it's crazy and also I am surprised how complimenting it is I guess it just mixes with my own body odor you know like like my own scent and it just like a pheromone it just tricks people I don't know this perfume is just so good I sometimes don't smell it myself, but then people remind me of it because they are asking and I'm like, oh yeah, actually I do wear a perfume and that's this. So if you are into minimalistic, light, sheer type of fragrances that are great for after the shower or, you know, just like uh, work and um, daytime, this is what you need to try and believe me, the compliments are massive and Sometimes simple things work best and you can get it with my discount as some other perfumes as I've mentioned in today's video Which I hope you enjoyed watching. It was so stressful not only just to Imagine the idea of not having all of you know this dream of mine in my life, but also like Breaking some of these perfumes. Okay. I, I honestly need to Take, take a nap or just relax or maybe drink something. But uh, if you 
had fun, don't forget to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. If there are any other fun videos you want me to recreate or you have ideas all on the, of your own, then make sure to let me know in the commentary section. Also, I would want to know which perfumes you would repurchase first if you lost your perfume collection, which you guys will never happen because, okay, everything can happen in our life, uh, never say never. This is what life is teaching me, but okay, whew, maybe I need to film a holy grail. No, this is, these are kind of my holy grails. And the next video in the style is gonna be an updated top list of my signature scents, because not all of these are my signature scents, but yeah, they are staples in my perfume collection. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to stay here and smell good. Follow me on my social media to stay in touch. I do post on Instagram quite frequently. So all the helpful links are down below and we'll see each other next one really soon. Bye guys.